Hello everyone. So we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. And in this particular video, we have couple of PySpark coding question which we are going to solve. So I have a total six question. One by one we are going to solve. This all the question are related to the duplicate scenario. So based on the duplicate scenario, what kind of the question which generally they ask, all the question we are going to solve. So I have one of the data frame. Uh, you can see this is the data frame I have created. You also try to create the same data frame and try to solve all the question one by one. So let's discuss the first question. The first question is like we have to remove a duplicate rows. So what generally happen? They will give you data set or the data frame like this and they will say you have to write a PySpark code and you have to remove a duplicate records. So as of now you can see we have a couple of the duplicate record is present. You can see one is present multiple times same transaction ID same amount the whole record itself this is the duplicate value is present so what we have to do we have to remove a duplicate records from here and we have to find out the only the unique records if they will ask remove a duplicate records or you have to find a, a unique records from the data set then what actually we can do it will be very simple what we have to write just we have to write df dot distinct and if you will do dot so what will happen it will remove whatever the rows which is present multiple time whatever the duplicate record which is present multiple time it will remove so you can see one alice you can see multiple time one alice is coming but if you will see the transaction id is different means this is a unique record only this is not a duplicate record here you can see one alice one double zero one one double zero one this was present two time right the same record that record actually it has removed and only the unique record we can see so if they will say to find out the unique record then what actually we can use we can use a distinct for to find out the unique records now as of now what have you have done you have removed a duplicate records and only the unique records you are showing here now next question is like what they can ask you have to find out what are the duplicate record which was present so from here in the data set this record is the duplicate record right this is the duplicate record and also similarly uh, this is the duplicate record now they want to see what are the duplicate records so this is the duplicate record and this is the duplicate record so these two output they want to see in a output what actually we should get this is duplicate record so this i should get as a output and this also i should get as a output so what are the duplicate record is present that output they want to see so in this case what actually we have to write i will try to do one thing i will try to use a group by df dot group by uh, based on what actually I will group based on all the columns I will try to group it df dot group by df dot columns and after that I will try to find find out the count and what I will do I'll try to apply a filter and I'll use a call function under this call I will mention if the count is greater than one if the count is greater than one that means that is a duplicate record dot so what actually I am doing I am grouping the data frame based on the all the columns. If you have to find out all the column, df dot columns, if you write based on the all the column, it will group. After that, I am finding out the count. And if the count is greater than one, right, means that is a duplicate record. Now we are using a call, right? So call also we have to import. So what actually you have to write from PySpark dot equal dot functions import star if you will do all the function will be imported now if i'll show you the result what will happen whatever the record which was present multiple time you can see this record was present multiple time similarly this was a duplicate so whatever the duplicate rows was there right that actually it is showing so what we have done we have find out we are trying to group all the column and we are trying to find out the count so you can see this is the duplicate record that's why count is second Similarly, this is the duplicate record. That's why the count is second. So we are filtering where the count is greater than one and we are getting the output. So if they will say to remove a duplicate and to find out the unique records, what actually you can use? You can use a df dot distinct. But if they will say they want to see what are the duplicate record is present, which they want to see, then you have to use this approach and you can get the result. Now, next question is like get the unique customer by customer ID. So as of now, if you'll see, uh, this is the actual data frame we have and here if you have to find out the unique records if you have to find out the unique records df.exting we are doing we are able to get the only the unique records 
but as of now you can see now the question is like they want to know how many the unique customer we have so you can see even the customer id is repeated multiple time because the multiple transaction right now if they want to know how many unique customer and their details if they want to know then how actually you can uh, find out the unique customer in that case what actually we will use df dot drop duplicate we will write df dot draw du drop duplicate uh, which particular thing you want to know how many unique customer so i will write customer id this i will write and uh, after that i will just mention dot so dot so in this case what will happen whatever the unique customer we have right one two three four this is a unique customer that record actually we can see you can also write dot count so that only the customer id count you can see but you can see only the unique customer we can see from here now our next question is like get unique transaction per customer customer id and transaction id means what i have to find out based on the customer id and the transaction id combination based on this transaction id and the customer id combination i had to find out the unique records how to find out the unique record based on the two column so what we will use we will use a df dot drop duplicates what actually i want to do i will use based on the customer id customer id and based on the transaction id combination i want to find out how many unique records we have based on the customer id and the transaction id co combination i want to find out how many unique records we have so what i am writing df dot drop duplicate customer id and the transaction id combination i am finding out the unique records so it has removed the all the duplicate records based on the combination of the customer id and the transaction id so you can see we have a customer id one present two time but you can see their transactions ids are uh, different because one customer he can do multiple purchase right and he can do multiple transaction so this record we can see so based on the customer id and the transaction id these two combination how many unique records we have we are able to find out so if they will say based on the one column if you have to find out the unique records what actually you have to write df dot drop duplicate and the particular column if they will say based on the multiple column if you have to find out the unique record then what actually you have to use df dot drop duplicate and like this actually you can mention and if they will say based on all the column you have to find out the unique record then directly you can use a distinct this is the thing you have to remember now next is the find the customer with more than one transaction i have to find out all the customer where which has done the more than one transaction so you can see the customer id one he has done the more than one transaction right transaction one and also transaction two similarly this is a a customer who has done more than more than one transaction right transaction 5 and transaction 6 so i have to find out those records so what i will write first first i will try to find out based on the customer id and the transaction id how many unique records we have so i will write the same code i will write the same code uh, based on the customer id and the transaction id how many unique records we have so this is the uh, record i got now what i have to find out i have to find out the customer with more than one transaction if you have to find out the customer then what actually you will write i will do group by customer id i'll do group by customer id i have to find out the count count and what i will write i will try to filter filter call count is greater than one means which has done the transaction more than one uh, count greater than one dot so let me execute let's see what is the output we are getting so you can see customer id one customer of id one he has done the multiple transaction right one double zero one one double zero two similarly this customer he has done the multiple transaction right so what actually i am trying to do i am trying to group based on the customer id i am trying to find out the count i am trying to group the customer id so if you group the customer id customer id we have one so count is one this this is another customer id so this count will be two so if the count is greater than one uh, this record actually uh, we are trying to find out which has done the more than one transaction now next question is like find the duplicate transaction where transaction id repeats 
have to find out the duplicate transaction where transaction id is repeat so what do you have to write df dot group by i have to find out the i will try to group based on the transaction id and what i will do i'll try to group it i will try to group it count and i will try to show you first let's see what actually i am doing i'm trying to group the transaction you can see transaction 1001 1002 or 1003 so find the duplicate transaction so the, you can see 1001 here we have multiple duplicate transaction right 1003 this also duplicate transaction if i'll show you in the actual data set 1001 you can see this is present multiple time right this is a duplicate transaction similarly 1003 1003 this also a multiple time it is present so our question is like we had to find the duplicate transaction so 1001 and the 1003 these are the duplicate transaction now if you have to filter then what actually you will write filter uh, i will try to filter call count count I will try to filter count greater than one dot so let me execute so you can see transaction one double zero one one double zero three this is the duplicate transaction so try to do a practice if you do a practice then only you will get a better idea but the duplicate related question generally ask in interview and they will try to make you confused so try to do practice and try to practice different scenario related to the duplicate.